Okay. Uh, let's do some shopping. Well then. Did you want to do a recap? That just brought me directly into this. Yeah. That's how the shop menu works. I mean, I expected there to be a room inside of the door. Apparently there's no room inside the door. No. Well, welcome back to Undertale. Nobody wants to render that. Um, there's no room in the door. Let's talk. Let's say hello. Hi, welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Oh, you're so fresh. Where did you come from? The capital. She's not looking too pleased with me. You don't look like a tourist. You're by yourself. What do we do around here? Nothing! What's to do in Snowden? There's food. The library has info. If you're tired. You can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. You're still That's not odd. looking at me with very uh, nice eyes. Dude, you should go sleep with your sister. I want my goat mom right now. <laughs> you could sleep with your goat mom. She has a comfy bed. Probably. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. Showed up one day and <laughs> asserted themselves. <laughs> That's what I like to do. I just show up and assert myself and people listen. I assert myself over you. What's the town history? Monsters live in the ruins. Long story short, we now decide to leave the ruins and head for the ends along the way. Some fuzzy folks decide they like the cold instead of camping at Snowden. And don't think about trying to explore the ruins. Doors been, been locked there, for done ages. That. Ooh, a ghost. Remember, we had one of those, though. Or you can burrow under the door. I mean, or you could just turn into a ghost. Well, if the door's just locked, then why doesn't Toriel just keep the door unlocked? I don't think she wants anybody there. I mean, she has a big ass house. She could easily get a tenant, but she apparently chooses not to. I don't know. Maybe it's because she doesn't want people coming in and finding that she's harboring humans and then trying to kill the humans. Even though all the humans just decide to fucking leave. Plot twist. And then they can't get back. Plot twist all the monsters that spawn in the ruins are just fallen humans. <laughs> <laughs> What's your life? A little claustrophobic. Well, I'm glad it's the same as usual. You want to tell me what that usual is? Oh, watch out. Freedom is coming all over your face. Okay. Uh, Take your time. Let's buy some stuff. You could be manly. Armor. That's what I need right there. Yeah, you want to be manly. It's the bicycle. You can eat it twice. You're a precious cinnamon bun. Yeah, but have you seen that bicycle? You can ride it all the way to, I don't know, somewhere and back. Well, I'm gonna get that armor. So I stop taking, like, three points of damage every time I get hit with something. Bicycle's great because... You can eat you it have, Well, you have 20 HP. And it heals more than half of your HP bar. And basically gets two half heals in one inventory slot. This does a full heal in one inventory slot. I mean, if you want to play where you go down to 3 HP, <laughs> that's up to you. I'm a very cautious, uh... Well, I'm very cautious when it comes to healing, personally. But that's just that's just how I play things. Does this look like a pawn shop? I don't know how it works where you're from, but... If I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business in a chiffy. <laughs> Not that she's judging you at all. <laughs> well no, then, no. Okay. Stereotypes. <laughs> well then. Again, I expected there to be, like, a room inside the door or something, but whatevs. Nah. Use the box. Sure. Oh, that's right. I have two nice creams. And you got that snowman piece. Which I still plan on never doing anything with. I have a Technically, Technically, the box travels with you everywhere. <laughs> Butts pie. Bandage. Heals 10 HP. It has already been used several times. Oh, so that was my equipment. It and, also, I think it has a defensive one. And now it's my heal, and now it's a heal item. Interesting. I mean, it's a band-aid, what do you expect? Um, and I still have my pie. All HP. Oh, wow. It restores all HP. I should hold on to that. Such a friendly town fills me with determination. Sure, Of course, if you're not I'll leveling save. up, then, you know... 
Sorry, did I just say I've been playing for 96 hours? What the fuck? Did you could look again? Probably not. Probably like... Apparently you've been playing for 96 hours. I'm sorry. Oh, that's 96 minutes. Okay. Is it? Okay. Okay. I was of the confused. <laughs> Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. Ah, uh, yes. They're plural. Nice but thought. Maybe I want to. You're a nice thought. Nice. That's what I said. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. <laughs> Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Tee hee. Okay. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating. Oh, we fought that and then saved yeah, and you in took a different shit place. Off of its horn. So we started giving it presents to make it feel better. Now it's tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Oh no! So they, they did that at one point, and now it's tradition. Carefully oh, look at that little tree. tiny boy or girl. I don't know. You're a kid too, right? Hi, monster kid. Totes. I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. Okay. Doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. <laughs> That's politics. Okay. Actually, that is almost entirely true right now. I'm not going to interpret that because I don't actually care. Look at But all anyone can interpret that however they look want. Look at all these doggos that I have fought at one point. Better watch where you sit down in here, kid. That big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. God. Just I, like real life. We're centuries. I choose to think that they're talking about Mr. Teeth on the right. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna talk- He's the big boy. He's gonna hop in your lap. I'm gonna talk to him after I talk to the rest of these doggos. Attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, plus. <laughs> Playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. Mood. That's a derpy doggo. He's a tiny doggo. Put a line for some girls today. Somebody told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally gonna make out with a fish. You kind of, aren't you a fish? That's probably why he's trying to find him. Nobody else here looks like a fish. Grilbs. Oh, that's not who I wanted to talk to. I wanted to talk to this guy. They're part of the royal guard. The elite group lives in with like undying. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. Relatable. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. What's up, yeah, horse yeah. dude? Capital's getting pretty crowded. They're gonna start moving here. I don't see the rage. Dude, that's like thinking that everybody's gonna start moving to Canada when the United States gets too overpopulated. It's a nice thought, but nobody wants to fucking go there. Oh, the jukebox is broken. Hey, Mr. Teeth. Isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil, <laughs> and when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Your whole Disgusting. body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. I mean, honestly, that is kind of gross, though, if you think about it. Same menu, same people. Help. I want new drinks and hot guys. Aw. Well, then. Has she tried puns to find hot guys? I mean, that's how you got me. Everyone's <laughs> always like dreariness crowding lack of sunlight dude you live in a fucking hole in the wall chill we all know the underground has problems but we smile anyway why i read that as smite you can't do anything so why be more okay here's a library am i literally gonna do nothing in this episode except explore this town i mean I you're looking through a whole town in the library sign is mistelf <laughs> Working in the newspaper. There's so little to report that we might just fill it with comics and games. When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. And you were right. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. You mean you're the only word searcher? <laughs> that look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? Oh, is that because I told Sans that I don't like crosswords? Probably. <laughs> it's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. Funerals, we take that dust and spread that on a person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on that thing. I'm kind of sick of writing this. 
Does anybody even read this essay? While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves but through magic. they'll never know the joy of just disappearing into the ether. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. What? <laughs> Ciao. Writing this book. The person comes in and picks up a book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. <laughs> Man, convincing first person. Because though. they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with a desire to kill... Oh, let's end right there. Hey, and enough of that school lesson today, kids. Let's talk about math. Fearing humans no longer, we moved out of our old city, home. We braved the harsh cold, damp swamplands, and searing heat. So we reach what we now call our capital, New Home. Our king is new, really bad New at York me. City. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of the soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Ouch. True, but ouch. Human master race. <laughs> what's up north? Uh. I don't see what's up north. I mean, you already figured out there's a river up there. Let's play monsters and humans. Oh, it's be yuck. World sure. Oh, Mustache these- Mustache rock. Oh, these are little slimes. They're- they're- oh, I don't know. I always thought they were just adorable rocks. What a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Okay. My patience rewards me. <laughs> You're just listening to this guy beat himself off to the sound of you knocking. He's beating himself off to the sound that. of me beating on his door. I'll beat you until you beat off. Well then. <laughs> it's a good thing that even the strong men have an economy. I got a phone call? Can I speak to... Wait a second. Is this the wrong number? Oh, it's the wrong number. The wrong number song. Alyssa's dancing next to me. I have no idea what the fuck is going on. Well, they're very, very sorry that you don't know what's going on <laughs> with the wrong number song. Nobody picks up the phone. Well, yeah, you fucking absconded. You got into a heated argument and then left without apologizing. I kept- It takes at least four years and three degrees to get over that. Look inside. I feel like I shouldn't. I, I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Then again... It's only illegal if you take with the contents. Also, this is Monster World, not Human World. Do they even have laws? laws. I don't know, but I'll I'm look pretty sure. It's I'm pretty empty. sure there's like one law. Kill humans? Something like that. It's locked. It's locked from the inside. I want the flower. Well, you should get the flower. There's little ice things. What yep. the actual remember, fuck? Remember he was throwing the ice things in there. Um. Um. I don't think I'm a fan. Well, of course not. You're a human. You're not a fan. I don't think I'm a fan of not being able to see. Also, it's too cold outside. If you were a fan, I'd put you in the closet. 